Welcome to Sculpture Studios, another example of a one-off prop for a piece of open-air theatre. This was commissioned by Story House for Grosvenor Park and for a performance of Stig of the Dump. We've been sent a concept image of a rock that the theatre group would like created at around 7 foot tall. This needs to look organic, a favourite word of Aiden that's no doubt going to be used later on, with natural footholds and places to grip onto, as this needs to be both climbable and movable by the actors on the open air stage. Carving from polystyrene, a rough form is created using nail and wire brushes, and we take shots from every side to send for the client's feedback. Changes are made as per the client's request, and we amend these highlighted sections to send an update later on for further confirmation. Though this needs to be scalable from every side of the rock face when it's stood up, we need to disguise these hand and footholds so that it looks like a natural stone and not just a climbable wall prop. We're also going to be creating anchor points at the bottom, so not only can this be lifted easily by a small team, but can also be pinned to the ground so it's stable for the performance. When they're happy with the form, we move on to the next stage of the procedure. A secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil protects the poly from the resin, and we go over the sculpture with a heavy build-up of glass fibre. We're using a Class O rated resin for this job, as although this is predominantly going to be used outside, it has the added option of being used, stored, and performed with inside with a captive audience, as it's still going to be fire rated. When the resin is cured, and we've sanded back any sharp points, we go over with a layer of flexible concrete. Flexible meaning more the fact it can withstand the expansion and contraction with the change in temperature. This is a material that you might have seen us use in previous videos. This can be used to create anything from a stone to a wooden bark, or even an ice texture, depending on how it's painted afterwards. Here Aiden's going on with warm colours for a heavy rock look, and he's using water-based emulsions, so that if this is damaged at any point during the performance, the team can touch up the paints, as these will be air-drying and easily accessible. Here we have the, uh, the standing stone, or the obelisk. It's relatively lightweight, but it does feel like it's got some. So between um, three or four people, they should be able to carry this nicely. If you look down here, do that, and they're relatively loose, and then they can cut them off and fix them. It's polystyrene with a layer of foil, and then two layers of glass fibre, so it's lovely and strong. And on top of this, we've added texture to give it this lovely sort of organic sort of feel to the whole thing. And it's emulsion paints, and we've added loads of colours, lots of reds, lots of greens, of browns and black. And then we've gone over the top with a, a kind of dry brush technique. We think it's looking very busy and very interesting. Uh, really, it's just a question of somebody climbing up and getting to the top. So I think we'll demonstrate that now. Jess? So there we have it, a large, movable, organic looking rock made from polystyrene, fiberglass and a concrete render. Naturally we can create whatever shape is required for the client, at whatever size, and for us this process is ideal where we create items for outdoor spaces. We love getting these one-off commissions where someone wants something for their back garden, a front of house display or in this case an outdoor theatre show. This was created for the Grosvenor Park's outdoor performance of Stig of the Dump, and we'd like to thank Al Parkinson and Jessica Curtis from the Story House. Thank you very much for approaching us with this project, and we look forward to any commissions for theatre work in the future. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpt Studios on Facebook, and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.